Hello everyone and welcome back. As promised in this lesson, we are going to start writing our first smart contract. For that, I created this new messenger.move module. As you can see, I deleted the old ones and the only change that I made is I just created this messenger.move. And here we are going to say our module is from example package and messenger module. In this module, I'm going to create a struct. So structs are really important in SUI move because we are going to use structs basically for everything. We are going to hold our data on the structs and we are going to alter the state of the structs and that's how we are going to change data on the blockchain. To create a struct, I'm going to start with the keyword struct and then the name of my struct. For the name, I'm going to call this messenger. Let's say this messenger has a name, right? I'm going to say name. As you would expect, I would write string here but originally in move we don't have strings what we have is vector of u8 so let's talk about this for a second u8 means 8 bit integer so it means that our integer can have values 2 to the power of 8 and minus 1 because we are using 1 for the 0 if my integer is u32 then i can have a bigger number if my integer is u64, 128, my numbers get bigger. So we are going to work with this u integers, which is unsigned integers, because these unsigned integers are only either zero or positive. Since we are not going to use negative values in our contracts, we are just going to work with this uh, u8 values. And this vector holds a piece of integers, which is string characters encoded. We are not going to use this. You know, vector u8, we are going to use strings. As I said, by default, it's not on the move language, but lucky for us, Sui implemented string for us so that we can use. To use a library, what we can do is, we are going to say, I will say use, and then I'm going to use standard library, which is std. Then I'm going to say string, and from string, I will use string. And we will have our string. I know it looks a little bit odd, but that's how we can use strings. We are going to get used to importing with these used and a couple of semicolons and a couple of dots. Next, I can use my string by saying string. Now I want my messenger to also have other fields because what we are creating here is with our messenger struct, we are going to hold information. And one of the information is the name of the messenger, let's say. The second information can be obviously the message. I'm going to say message is string. Then we want to know whom this message is from. For that, I'm going to say from, and we are going to say address. So address is a special type in Sui. You don't have to import it, but the address is actually what it sounds. It's the address of the user. With the address, we are going to hold Sui addresses. Next, I will also have the information whom this message is going to and which is also be the address. Now, I created my struct. As you can see, it's not a very complicated process and we are going to use structs a lot. So what we are doing basically, we are creating the struct and we are just adding the fields. But this is just a struct. So what I want to have is a swim object. How can I make this struct to an object and what's the difference between the object and the struct? So the first difference is that we have the ability of key in our objects. So with this key, what we are saying is that this is a SUI move object, it's not a normal struct. So with this key property, we need to also have the field of ID. So this field of ID is going to tell us how we are going to store this value because what we want is to store this struct in the blockchain so that we can get this data and then we can work with this struct. But if I just have a struct, then we are not going to store this on the SUI. But what we can do is we can make this struct to an object so that we can actually store this struct in the SUI blockchain. But to store it, we need an identification so that we can actually work with this struct. And for that, thankfully, we have the IDs. So with these IDs, we can have distinct unique structs or SUI move objects we can actually store on the blockchain. And with the same ideology, we can create NFTs and assets very easily on the SUI move. And that's one of the reasons actually why I love SUI move this much. For the ID, we are going to say 
it's going to be a type of UID. We don't have this UID, but, so we need to import it. I'm going to say use. This time we are going to use SUI, not the standard library. And from the SUI, I'm going to have an object. And from the object, first I will say self and then UID. Again, for the time being, it may be a little bit complicated, but the more we do it, it's going to be yet much easier. Now, I have the UID so that I can use it in here. Let's save and see if we have any problem with our code. We don't have any problem so far. So with this ideology, I can actually have my struct and I can actually store it on the Sui blockchain. And when I store this, because uh, I have other structs with different names and people also put different objects uh, on the Sui blockchain. So when I want to communicate with this structure, it's going to know that I really mean this one here by looking at its UID, and we are also going to work with IDs of the structures. And this, how we can have a Suimov object instead of a normal structure. But as you can see, we added this uh, key ability with this has keyword. So if I say has key, then it means that I'm creating an object which will have an ID. It has to have an ID. If I don't have an ID here and I save it, then I will get an error. So let's try this out. I'm going to create a new terminal. In this terminal, I'm going to say sui move build, and that's going to build the project for us. And as you can see, we have an error, compilation error. If we check this error, it says that invalid object messenger structs with key ability must have ID, which is from SUI object UID, like we got here as their first field. So let's do this again. And let's say SUI move build. And that's how we can actually check our project is working correctly or not. With Suimo build, what we are doing is we are actually compiling our contract. So with the compiling process, we are taking this code that we can read and we turn into the code that the computer can read. And during this process, we can figure out that if we done something wrong or not. So as you can see, this time we have a couple of warnings, but we don't have any errors because we have the ID as the first field. But we also have uh, different types too. So I can also add, like say, storage. So storage means that we can store this again in the Sui blockchain. So with storage, we are saying that actually we want to uh, store this in the Sui blockchain, but it doesn't mean that it's an object so because object means that it's unique, it comes with an ID. With storage, we are saying that we want to store this, but we are not giving the ID. So the key is not the same with the storage. So in the future, we are going to talk about this, but in the future, if we have uh, different structures that we want to put in the other structures, we would need to have this store ability because what we are having here is this key, and we want to have a, a place that we actually store something. Inside this structure, I don't need to do this for this two or the name because uh, they are string and address. But if I create a new field, let's say the field name is keyword and it's the type of keyword, even though we don't have this struct yet. But to have this structure, I need this keyword structure to be stored on the Sui blockchain. The reason is that I have key here, and this means that I have a Sui move object. And I'm going to store this and I can check with this ID. Since I'm going to store this, I need to be able to store everything in this structure. So I can store these ones, which comes from standard library. And I have this keyword, which is a structure that I created to indicate that I want this to be stored on blockchain. I also need storage you know, keyword for this keyword structure that we haven't created yet. And other than the store, I can have other abilities like the copy. And this means that I can actually copy this structure and then I can have a drop and the drop means that I can drop this structure, I can delete this structure without any side effects. So these are the types that we are going to work with. When the time comes, we are going to learn more about this when we need to use them. But for the time being, just know that these are how we can actually enhance our structures and the most two common ones are the key and the storage. Again, you don't have to worry about them a lot right in the beginning if you understood the structure the key part and the id part that's what we need as 
we need it more we are going to learn it during our process so again for a quick look we created a module and we said that example was the name of our package and the messenger was the name of our module we imported string from the standard library and we imported this uid from the sweep then we created a structure and we said that we want our structure to store on the blockchain as an object for that we said uh, we need a key and if we put the key then the first field need to be id which is type of uid and we import it here then we have the name which is the name of the messenger we have the message which is the message that the messenger is carrying then we have two different fields with the type of address and this is from and to whom the message is coming from and where it is going. So this is the basic ideology of the structure. Thank you very much for listening to me on this video. And in the next video, we are going to go more depth in the three contracts. So thanks again and see you on the next one.